you know, when I when I joined rugby, I was in an even more terrible place because I was just getting over, uh, not getting over, but dealing with being raped. And I didn't realize how much I was lashing out, but the self-hatred just got even worse. So for a very long time, uh, I don't, I'm not really sure when, but I didn't like myself very much. And um, I didn't know how to treat myself good. I didn't, I didn't like myself. Uh, that's the best way I could put it. And sometimes I would find myself giving to people and accepting almost nothing and sometimes even terrible treatment. You know, when rugby came into my life, I, I remember being so angry. I remember realizing how angry I was because I would be engaging in some kind of interaction and then I would just want to lash out, like lash out hard at people. Um, I would curse a lot. I would, I used to drink a lot. Um, until I started to get fit, until I started to see myself perform on the field, until I started to realize that there were other things I could do with my time. Um, and it was an interesting change because I went from being really, really angry at people to turning inside and saying, why are you so angry? Just, just question mark, why are you so angry? And I realized it was because I felt powerless. I felt extremely powerless in my life. I felt like every time I made an effort to do things, I was given a raw deal. Every time I would be nice to people or you know, extend myself or love people, they wouldn't love me back in a healthy way. And I was just angry at so many people. Um, but rugby was able to make me feel powerful from the way that my body changed, from the way I would perform on the field, the way I would speak to people, become more confident, dominate my space and say, hey, I'm talking, so you know, you have to listen. And it, it went to one extreme at one point. At one, at one point I was like extremely aggressive, extremely, you know, listen to me talk and, you know, and then eventually, you know, as time went on and I saw qualities in myself that rugby was able to bring out, bring out like leadership, uh, like self-control, um, remembering the kind person that I am, remembering the person who loves to engage with people and love people and share with people and interact with people. Um, I don't think there was anything else in my life that could have done what rugby did for me. Sports is a human thing. It's not a male thing, it's not a female thing, it's a human thing. And the fact that it can do so much for you and women aren't pushed or don't think we can engage in it. Girls don't think they can engage in it, engage in it as much as boys. To me, it's just, it's, it's like we're robbing ourselves of getting to explore this different side of ourselves that we just, that is there, but we just don't do it because we think we shouldn't, because that's what that's just for men, that's a, that's a man thing, that's a boy thing. I would say the major benefit of sport is the fact that it can make you remember as a woman that you have power and you have a place and you are a human being who is capable of great and magnificent things. Um, there is a, I think there is a, a very important connection that we have with our bodies that as women, as women, we tend not to explore. Um, and well, at least for me, that's something that sports did because the more that I saw my body changing and just doing these incredible things, I just, I was like, I am this, I am, I am an amazing human being and I deserve to be treated nice. I deserve to treat myself nice because look at what I can do. And, you know, I feel like that's something that women don't, we don't do that enough, you know, we don't get in touch with ourselves enough, you know, through our bodies. There's a lot of shame. There's a lot of shame around too many things when it comes to us, phys especially physically. Um, and once you, once you start to see what your body can do and the capabilities that you have, the, the mental strength that you have when you say, okay, I'm going to commit to this thing and your body and your mind become one and you execute after some time, nobody can really tell you anything. Like you decide 
who you want to be and how 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 you want to be this person you know 